not easy being a Lou, is it? You get picked on all day by your dog fam, the only one not picking on you, growling at you, being your mother. That's a tough dog's life, huh? I really shouldn't be doing this. Almost completely because I'm a broke-ass bitch right now, but I'm gonna do it. It's gonna cost me too much in gas money and parking to do it. But I feel like you, the people, want to see what's going on with this whole thing. So, if y'all remember, there was a video come out recently about the Mumford Shopping Center Walmart and the black lady that was with her kids shopping ended up getting slammed by cops. There's a little more to it than that, but you can watch the video for yourself and see it for yourself. The lady's a friend of mine, I think. She recently took me off Facebook friends a little while ago and re-added me when I added her when all this stuff happened. Might have been taken off originally for not being anti-racist enough. I don't really know. And just to be clear, I really don't like racism. Like, at all. And I completely applaud those who fight day in and day out against systemic racism. It's a huge problem. And... Yeah, I don't, I always considered her a friend, but maybe it's more accurately described as acquaintance or person I party with or whatever. That's beside the point. She's in court today. The court stuff's happening. There's a rally in her support. Let's go see it. I really, really fucking hate being shod, but I'm nursing an injury on my big toe and that's one of the only times you'll ever see me with something on my feet also fuck salt hurts the feet and keep it the fuck out of my river there's a lot more people now than when i first got here around 9 30. there's more signs it's nice to see a community that cares assaulted like had like actual injuries from from, the, from this encounter and is now being dragged through the court system uh is just is just completely ridiculous. Uh, what are your, what are your thoughts so far on the response from police to this incident i mean it's it's ridiculous because because they are they are definitely like claiming that they were in the right they're they're not you know they, they haven't like walked back uh, these actions. Uh, they haven't like talked about uh, creating you know some kind of like different way to in, engage uh, in the future. So yeah, it's completely ridiculous. The charges should be dropped immediately. And, uh, and honestly, I think the, the police need to be on trial for for, for, for the assault and, and for the, the profiling. And, you know, it's uh, it's, it's very. Uh, it, it's very unacceptable. I find it un unacceptable that, that, that Santina's in court today uh, over what happened. It's, it should be the other Describing that the community outcry here has been uh, powerful since the onset. Why do you think that is? I think it's because everyone recognizes okay, that it's, yeah. it's completely uncalled for. It's completely unprofessional behavior on behalf of the police. It's, it's, uh, it's part of like a long-standing issue around racial profiling and around racism within the police force. Uh, and so, yeah, it's touched a nerve, obviously. People, people, you know, it resonates with people. This, this, this act of violence and racial profiling resonates with people. People don't want to see that happen anymore. People are, are sick of it. And you know, we're coming off, um, off of a, a big struggle around street checks, uh, where, you know, police have, you know, come, come out and apologized for it, but then they're still profiling. There's, uh, you know, they're still engaging in racial profiling, and that, that's led to 
very violent consequences for this uh, young mother. And this is, yeah. Looks like I should have came in just a little bit earlier. They're full of capacity in right now. If somebody leaves, I'm going to try and squeeze myself in. I've been here for court before to support a couple other people. These lines are new and excessive and ridiculous to me. There's, there's no reason for that to be like that in a public building. So I'm done in court right now. Probably do like a little bit of an update once I'm back at home and can go through the little bit of notes that I got. Not a whole lot happened. Ended up running into another friend of mine, sat in court with them. Not a whole lot happened with that either. So yeah, just here gonna pick up a bag of doves because they're cheap and a snack because I've been at court all day and haven't eaten anything all day. And yeah, got my bag of dove duts, got my snack, dressed all over chips. Now I need to go get some motor oil because yeah, times are tight in the Maritimes and I wasn't kidding about being a broke ass bitch. I'm not broke broke, but broke enough that this is kind of tough. Good enough time to plug my Patreon though. If you like the stuff I do, take a look on my Patreon. And if you want to support me or you have any ideas for what model would be best for me, let me know. I sure need it. I got some oil back at home, but on the way into the city, I was smelling some smelly smells that smelled smelly. And I'm not trying to blow my van up today. So I'm home now, finally. It's time for the conclusion part of the video. And because I want to provide the most unbiased, truthful, and honest coverage as possible, I, I feel like I need to disclose what my particular biases are. So, I actually hope that Santina gets found not guilty. That's more or less it. She's a friend of mine, so I hope the best for her. And I don't know if she still considers me a friend or will by the time everything's over. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. As for what actually came out in court, there really wasn't a whole lot. There was some bureaucratic courty type shit. There was an information withdrawn and then a new information given. Whatever all that means. Speaking of whatever that means... There was some kind of a curfew imposed on her, and the judge said the curfew was from 10 o'clock until 5,500, whatever that means, which is exactly what the judge said about the 5,500 thing. And the Crown seems to be waiting for information from the police and for the SR, SIRT investigation to be over, so that's what the Crown's waiting for and why things are delayed and yeah that brings me to things are delayed and we're not gonna hear anything or santina's not in court again until may 12th so hopefully i can afford to go i would like to be in court again and to hear the facts as they come out and see all of the proceedings so if you made it this far in the video or even if you just skipped to this part of the video Thanks for watching. Thanks for paying attention to me and my content. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this.